Hi guys, it's Sam from CJ's Randomizer. Today I'm going to show you uh, how good the Cryolator is. You may have seen the Cryolator when you first started the game when you were escaping the vault. It was in a master locked case in, in um, one of the research rooms. Uh, but you wouldn't have been able to get it because, well, it's it was behind the master lock. Now I'm just going to show you a brief um, walkthrough to where it is from the start of the vault. It's not in the right door, it's in the left door. And you just follow the simple path down and you go into the research room and it's there behind the master lock. Now you can't get this gun until you reach at least level 18 because that is the requirement to hit um, to be able to pick master locks. And make sure you have plenty of bobby pins because you might snap quite a lot. I managed to get a bit lucky here because for some reason they weren't, they weren't snapping. So anyway, I got it in like two or three. Now this gun is really, really, really good and really, really, really powerful, but it has two major drawbacks. Uh, one of the major drawbacks is its ammo. It it has cryo ammo, and I don't know about you guys, but I haven't seen cryo ammo anywhere. And the, another major downfall is that it has zero range. It has very, very, very little range, as you could see there. I couldn't hit that guy from that range. Now I've just put it on survival, which is the hardest difficulty. And it still absolutely destroys people from close. I mean, I fail there, but uh, in a moment, right, well, round, round about now, I'm going into um, this Wilson's place of something. I can't remember what that just said. And I'm going against all super mutants, and it absolutely wrecks the nice cheek fusion coil there as well. It absolutely just devastates them because you're in a close environment where shotguns do well. And this is basically a shotgun territory thing, except it looks cool with all the ice coming off it and then it makes people explode into ice uh, but like I say so overall it's a really good gun it's about an 8 out of 10 apart from the fact that it's very hard to find ammo because it'll either be ridiculously expensive and caps aren't very very easy to come by at the moment and the fact that I, I just don't see it getting sold I don't get, see it getting sold anywhere at all Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please leave a like if you did. There'll be more fun out soon. Nah. Another awkward ending.